We're here today with a lady called Louisa. Uh, we've just had a baby and we're going to do a makeover for back to work. So Louisa, what we're going to start off with, it's obviously we haven't got a lot of time in the morning before you go back to work. Yeah. Start off with a moisturiser. What we're using is Protect and Perfect, Factor 15 and 5 Star UVA protection in there as well. What we're going to be using on you now Louisa is a BB cream. With this we have a primer, a moisturiser and a foundation all in one. And with this Louisa it's going to give you a bit, a bit more coverage than the tint of moisturiser does. Is it best to apply it with a brush then? Because I normally um, put my tint of moisturiser on yeah. the yeah. yeah. You don't have to but okay. obviously you do get a better finish yeah. with the brush and it does glide on a lot smoother and evenly as well. Okay. So how long does it normally take to get ready in the mornings now after you've had the baby? Well, now I'm lucky if I have 10 minutes for my makeup. So put him in a little bouncy chair and let him watch me, but I'm not sure he's that interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so just 10 minutes basically we've got our way, yeah, so very yeah, quick. And do you find that you do get a lot of puffiness at all with your eyes? I haven't noticed had a... too much puffiness, perhaps a bit darker. Darker, lack of sleep is it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, we'll sort that out for you as well. Okay, Okay, yeah. Louise, this is Instant Radiance. This is an under eye concealer. So obviously this is going to help with any redness that we might have under yeah. the eyes, a bit of tiredness that you have. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to try and conceal them for you as well. Okay. okay. And what we're doing is basically going straight under your eye, tap away and get as close as to your under eye lid as we can. And what will this all do, this will brighten your eye, give that more wide awake look for you, okay? And do the other eye. And it's nice just to put it on top of the lid as well, just to give that all one colour. Yeah, I've never thought colour. of doing that. Yeah, and it, and it can act like a base as well for your eyeshadow. I'm just going to seal this foundation in for you Louisa okay. and if you do have any shine there mattify that area out for you what we're going to do here is a pencil liner so you can actually use this as an eyeshadow and a liner at the same time okay, okay. So you just want to close your eye for me and what we do here because it's such a lovely soft crayon just gently all over your eyelid again it's very quick and easy if you want to layer it in the corners, just keep going over and over until you get that little bit darker shade on the outside. You just like to gently bring the colour around the corner of your eye and that will open your eyes up to give that wide awake look. We're look. Going for. Exactly what you need. <laughs> what I'm using here is an exceptional definition of the star. So this will define your lashes and make again a little more awake for you. Okay. okay. With this mascara you've got three sides of the brush. So one side is loading the mascara onto your lashes. And with the other side of the brush, we gently separate those lashes for you. So what's good about this mascara is we do have a little spike here a bit on the end here. And what that does is get all the little lashes out that we can't normally cope with the mascara brush, okay? So just gently get into the front of the corners so we can coat every lash that we have there. The side. So when are you due back to work? I'll go back in a couple of weeks' time. Not long. No. <laughs> so what we're going to use now is a nice soft damson natural brush for you. Okay, so we'll get onto the apple bit here. And just gently a quick brush over your cheekbones and Okay, what we're using here is a nude lip liner. Obviously, you're going back to work. We want that lipstick to stay in place yeah. as, yeah. Much, as much as we can. Okay, so just gently, gentle strokes along your lip line. Okay, so we're going to use a high shine lip gloss on you, Louisa. This colour's in Whisper. It's going to give you just a nice little bit of brightness to your lips. There we go, that's your 10 minute makeover, back to work. Yes. 